Yes. The Breakfast Club, bitches. Who's donkey of the day today? Donkey of the day for Friday, August 7th goes to North Paulding High School in Dallas, Georgia. I have never heard of Dallas, Georgia ever in my life, but they are on the map now for all the wrong reasons. I want to salute Hannah Waters who is a student at North Paulding High School. I was watching this story on CNN after the verses went off. Uh, Laura Coates was filling in for Don Lemon, and she was having a conversation with Hannah Waters because Hannah got suspended for no damn good reason. Okay, I really hate when people get in trouble for doing the right thing. I really do. It says a lot about the world, the planet that we are existing on, when folks punish you for being a good human. Let's go to Laura Coates on CNN to hear the injustice that happened to Hannah Waters. A 15-year-old student in Georgia says that she has been suspended from her school after posting a photo of a crowded hallway between classes. Hannah Waters put up the image you're seeing right now on Twitter. It shows kids who are jam-packed in the halls of North Paulding High School, and she says many were not wearing any masks. The Paulding County Superintendent sent a letter to the community saying the photo is really out of context, writing this, class changes at the high school level are a challenge when maintaining a specific schedule. It is an area we are continuing to work on in this new environment to find practicable ways to further limit students from congregating. Students are in this hallway environment for just a brief period as they move to their next class. He went on to say, there is no question that the photo does not look good and that wearing a mask is a personal choice and there is no practical way to enforce a mandate to wear them. That's right. Hannah Waters got suspended because she was concerned about the packed hallway and lack of mask at the school. Clearly, she was concerned about people spreading this virus. Folks keep trying to ignore call COVID-19. Now, what confused me was something Paulding County Superintendent Dr. Brian Otot said in that clip you just heard. He said wearing a mask is a personal choice and no practical way to enforce them. Hmm. This is a superintendent of a school. He said wearing a mask is a personal choice and no practical way to enforce them. I went and looked up the board policy for North Paulding High School of uh, the Middle and High School Parent and Student Information Guide. What do you mean, Dr. Otot, if I'm pronouncing your name right? You know I can't pronounce nothing. What do you mean there is no practical way to enforce kids wearing a mask? All right, you enforce them to wear a mask the same way you enforce other rules. You suspended Hannah Waters for violating rules, okay, rules that you made up. So how can you enforce them but can't enforce other rules, okay? You implemented rules that got Hannah fired. I mean, Hannah suspended that she violated. So why can't you implement rules to make people wear masks? Page 13 of this handbook is the dress code. They have things that are approved for school wear, uh, like pants and shorts. They have to be a certain length. Skirts and dresses must be a certain length. Shoulders must be covered for, for, for young ladies. They have rules that say you have to wear appropriate shoes. And then they have a long list of things that are not approved for school wear. So if you wanted to mandate kids wearing masks, you absolutely could. <laughs> They're kids and you're a school. All right. In fact, you suspended Hannah for violating three different conduct policies. So don't act like you can't make new conduct policies. All right. You can make new rules the same way you can prohibit things. You can mandate things and wearing a mask should be a mandate mandatory. All right. Let's listen to Hannah Waters having a conversation with Laura Coates about what's happened to her. Let's go back to CNN for the report, please. I violated three of the code of conduct policies. One of them saying that I use my phone during instruction time and that I use it in the hallway during class change. But it also says that students nine through 12 have permission to use it. Um, the second one that they said I broke was using my phone during school hours for social media. But I posted the photo onto Twitter after school during dismissal. And then the fourth one I did break. It was the one about filming students and posting it on social media platforms. Do you regret doing any of this? I'd like to say that this is good and necessary trouble, so it needed to be said. The superintendent did send out that message to families, and they said that the photo is just out of context. We have about five minutes to go through the class change. So those five minutes we've passed so many people in the hallway. Drop on the clues bombs for Hannah Waters. Okay, young woman, 
clearly inspired by the Honorable John Lewis. She said this is some good and necessary trouble. 80-year-old OG John Lewis influencing young high school kids. you love to see it. But North Paulding High School, I understand rules are rules, but you're saying she violated three conduct policies, using her phone during instruction time, using her phone during school hours for social media, and filming students and posting on a social media platform. Well, according to Hannah, students in grades 9 through 12 were exempt from the phone ban, and Hannah didn't post a photo until school was over, Okay. Hannah admitted she broke the policy on posting images of students, but as you heard her say, she doesn't regret it because it was some good and necessary trouble word to John Lewis. Listen, she broke a rule. I get it. You suspended her. But the reason you really suspended her is because you want to send a message to other students. And that message is what happens at North Paulding High School stays at North Paulding High School. Okay. When the reality is North Paulding High School is not doing everything in their power to prevent the spread of coronavirus because they aren't mandating kids to wear masks, okay? It's a high school. Your rules apply. If the kids have to be that close together in between classes, then masks in the hallways should absolutely be mandatory. I don't understand leadership in America anymore. When the kids have more sense than the superintendents and the superintendents don't know what's best for the kids and don't know what safety is, what the kids do, and they're calling out the leadership at the school for it, Something is wrong. All right. Hannah Waters, I just want to say to you, salute and always remember doing the right thing is always the right thing. And to Superintendent Dr. Brian Otot, there is no right way to do the wrong thing. And what you did to Hannah Waters, suspending her is wrong and not mandating masks at North Paulding High School is wrong. Please give North Paulding High School in Dallas, Georgia, the sweet sounds in the Hamiltons. Oh, now you are the donkey. Mm. Of the day, you are the donkey of the day. Well, thank you for that donkey today, Charlemagne. Yes, ma'am. Well, you called me sir before, so which one is it? Mm. Ma'am? Sir. What'd you say, ma'am? Sir. What'd you say, young lady? Sir. Young lady with the drawn on beard? Sir. What'd you say? Sir. Yeah, yeah, done. We finished. Donkey today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.